Well, season four, we went for it. We, we went for it. Uh, you know, when we were over the pandemic, when we were kind of outlining the whole show and what the last season would feel like, we were like, all 10 of those episodes need to be, you know, super sized. You know, it still takes place in the house, but it, it has to be super, super muscular, big kind of uh, scale. That, you know, I love telling giant stories, but through like a very small, narrow window of how to see them. And so this was no, no different. So it was very exciting to, for the audiences. Hopefully all 10, you'll feel immediately, wow, these are just bigger episodes and we got to be more open about let's say the supernatural elements of the piece in the final season which I was holding back and holding back and now I get to kind of let loose. Dorothy, this character that I've gotten to play for four years, it's been it's just been an honor to play such a difficult, sort of flawed, wacky, wild, you know, how am I gonna do every day it was like how am I gonna do this? So I, that, I miss it already. It's just a very unique show to have um, in this genre just a half an hour episodes all in this kind of very contained kind of single location, small cast, it's, it's, it has its really intimate kind of uncomfortable kind of feeling and I think um, it creates an incredible atmosphere. Um, when you're working on set it's just there's nothing quite like it, it's, it's a really interesting place to work. Um, and yeah just I mean whenever you do kind of four seasons of a show I think it's, it's a real achievement, it's the longest TV show I've kind of been a part of, or anything kind of since Potter, so it's, it's yeah, it's sad to see it go for sure, but it's, um, I think we kind of tie it all up in a, in a very kind of satisfying way, which is important. How's my character changed? I think she's a whole new, she's a whole new woman. She's developed and grown as a person, and this sort of understanding how to harness her power as a woman and whatever else she may be she is something else and yeah I think it's just we've seen you know this young girl find her her feet and, and who she necessarily is as opposed to who she wants to be Ultimately, I feel like a lot of Nate's work is about this, about the human condition, about, you know, the story is about a family who just can't face their grief. It's about a lot of other things, too. It's about, you know, it's funny. It's about the cuckoo nanny that comes in and, and all of that stuff, too. But it's, to me, at the heart, it's this family who can't face grief and can't face their, this tragedy, can't face mortality. And, you know, that's this huge, big idea that we were able to explore through the genre of thriller. <laughs>